Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in Vidnaz AI and I've got something awesome to show you. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create not only your own AI avatar video, but this one's going to be conversational because we're gonna have multiple AI avatars speaking and we're gonna sync them up and have them as a presentation where one speaks and then the next one speaks all with their own unique voices and with different timings in between their discussions. There's a little bit here to get into. So join me. Let me show you how to do this. All right, let's get cooking. So the first step is you want to go to vidnaz.com. Link will be in the description below. Now, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log in if you have an account. If you don't, click on free AI video. When you do that, you'll see that you can create a free account with four different sign-on providers, or you can sign up with your email. I have an account, so I'm just going to click on login, and I'm going to log in with my Google account. Let's just get that over with here. Just click on the button and presto, we are in. Now, this is the screen you're going to see initially. And right away, you can already see where we're going with this. There are a whole bunch of templates that are just right, right front and center here. And they are fantastic. The video that I want to show you here, or what I, the technique I want to show you is the presentation one with multiple people having a conversation. So I'm going to look at this one here. And it says English conversation practice. I like it. I'm going to click on it. Here we Welcome go. Welcome to this English conversation practice. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's a little bit loud. So I'm going to turn it down a bit here. And I am going to go and use this template. When you do that, literally it loads it up. And now I'm going to show you how to customize it. All right, so here we are inside this conversational and educational template. This is one of many. I'm just going to show you how to use it using this template. So... Let's look here at the bottom left here. You're going to see that we've got a thumbnail of Kimberly here. That's on the, the left side. If I click on this thumbnail and I decide I want a different avatar, easy. I just click on it, select change avatar and presto. I get all these different options. I like Stella in that satin dress done. We've changed it in seconds. It's nice and easy. Same thing goes for Henry. If I don't want Henry or maybe I want to a different version of Henry. Let's go with Brandon in a suit. Okay, good. So we've got them both dressed in black. They look a little bit like vampires. That's okay. They're teaching a course. Now, the next thing you'll see here on the bottom left here under st beside Stella is we can go ahead and change the text. So if I don't want it to say welcome to this English conversation practice, but I want it to be something nice and quick. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? That's it. I just go ahead and type that in. Now, let's listen to preview and see what this sounds like. And then I'm going to show you how to change voices and timings. Let's go. Why did the chicken cross the road? Hey, Kimberly, have you made any plans for the summer yet? All right, so there we go. So the changes that I made to her text, you can see automatically that they were updated when I hit preview. However, I didn't adjust Henry's text. I left it as is. And it just read it the way it's written here. So that is one thing you can do with this template or with this software, pardon me. If I don't want titles, pardon me, subtitles, I'll just turn them off here. I think they're kind of in the way. Now, let me show you how to go ahead and change their voices. All right, let's get a little further into this. So if I want to change the voice or the accent or maybe the country where the uh, voice or accent originates from, it's very simple. I'll just click on E-N-U-S here at the bottom left. That means English United States. I'll click on that and then I get a couple options. I can increase or decrease the speed of the person speaking or I can just click on these three dots and change a different voice. Now, I'm going to go or choose a different voice. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that female is selected as is. And then for me, I'm going to go and select Clara. I'm selecting Clara because I like her voice and I'm Canadian too. So let's just go ahead and click on play and get a snippet of what it sounds like using her voice. Vidna's AI brings your idea to high quality videos with. Good, I like it. I'm going to click on OK. Now, when I hover down here, you're going to see it now says E N C A and no longer says E N U S. Perfect. So when I click on preview, you're going to hear the new accent. Also, I'm going to leave Henry here alone. I'm going to leave his voice the way it is, but I want to also decrease the amount of time they take between speaking. So one person speaks. Then there's a pause, and then the next person speaks. I want to reduce that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on right here. You'll see add pause. Well, when I click on that, it says 0.5. That means half a second pause between uh, them speaking. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that to 0.3 because I find that found, sounds a little more natural 
at least for news type videos. So there we go. I've gone ahead and done that. I'm also going to go ahead and take subtitles off because I don't think they make any sense to have in this educational style. And then last thing, I can go ahead and make some changes. So I'm just going to click on the canvas here. And instead of welcome to English online, I'm going to welcome to Curtis's channel or something like that. Okay, welcome to Curtis Pike's oops, channel. Good stuff. And then I could change that or I could delete that. I could change my name. All of these things are adjustable and you can adjust them as you see fit. And if you're not sure what to do and you want to change the font, you can go up here and you can just see here in their little toolbar. You can change the fonts. You can change sizes, the styles, all of these things. Standard stuff. You can go ahead and play with that later, but it's there and it's ready to go. So I kind of like the way this looks. Let's go ahead and click on preview and let's listen to it. You're going to hear the uh, Clara, the Canadian lady's uh, voice. Why did the chicken cross the road? Hey, Kimberly, have you made any plans for the summer yet? Okay, so there you go. We've gone ahead and changed her voice, and we also reduced the time between the discussions there between them. Now, if I was happy with this, I would just go ahead and click on Generate, and that's that. It's going to go ahead, cook it up for me. Here it goes. It's going to take about seven minutes to go ahead and run through that. It's a minute and 20 seconds long, so there's a fair bit there to, a lot of wood to chop. Once it's ready, I download it. It's done. Oh, actually, it did it in even way faster than I expected. So that's it. Now, let's get on to the next thing. All right, the last thing I want to show you is just a couple more tweaks and things you can do to the video. For example, up at the top here in the bar, you can click on music. And if you want to use some of their own stock music, go ahead and do that. I recommend that sometimes because you don't get into any of the copyright issues. If you have your own song, Go ahead and upload it like I have done here. And if you have your own brand audio. So, for example, you have a song or a piece of music that you use on all of your video tracks. Go ahead and put that here. Just an option. Secondly, on the left side here, you can see I can create a brand new scene from scratch. So I can just click on this plus sign here and I get some options. I can duplicate what I've got here. So if I want to have another scene with the exact same setup, go ahead and do that. If I want a blank scene... And I just want to start creating from scratch. I will just click on blank, for example. And then I can just start adding things in. For example, like if I wanted to have this lady here, I just click on her under image and presto, she's been added to the scene. This is pretty much standard stuff here. But again, there's things that you can know about. You can add in stickers, which are more like motion graphics, really. So if I wanted to put in, hey, follow me on social media, I would just put something like that in here. And then maybe I would put that down there. So... You can have a lot of fun here. You can change the backgrounds. For example, I want her to be in a sky rise looking out the window. There we go. Done. These are all just some of the things you can do here, guys. There's so much here. Give it a shot. Try out the conversational piece. Create a news video. Create a educational video with multiple presenters. You're going to like it. Vidnaz AI. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.